Oh boy, here's the overrated characters video. I sure can't wait for everyone to disagree with me in the comments. I'm gonna get ya! BFB and Teapot feature many characters, many of which are just stinky little poo poo heads who are overrated, and I'm gonna be talking about them. If you watch my videos, you know that I hate Grassy. And then Mar, I love Lisa Spots and Rubella. Ew, it's good that he doesn't say much because I don't want to hear that disgusting voice. Grassy is also just a one joke character, but it's actually really tough to be a one joke character when that one joke was never funny in the first place. Like, bro, I know your name is Grassy. Box from An Anime Insanity has more personality than Grassy, but what makes me hate him even more is how many people like him. It confuses me. It angers me. It just downright terrifies me. Grassy gets over 20,000 save votes? No! Oh god, no! Some people argue that Grassy helped out his team, so he deserves that love. Let's run down each episode and see just how useful he was. Episode 1. He was carried by Belle. Not useful. Episode 2, however, is one that he actually is seen helping. On to episode 3, it was all Snowball's idea and Grassy's just not helpful here. Episode 4, Snowball lights Grassy on fire to warm up the plant. Ugh, how's our funny plants now, basketball? First of all, thank you, Snowball. I love seeing him burn and scream in agonizing pain. Second of all, Grassy had no part in that anyway. It was all Snowball's idea. So in all of the teapot challenges, Grassy only helped out in one of them, and it was the one they lost. Even then, why does how well someone does in a challenge determine how good of a character they are? Even if Grassy was the most useful person on his team, it still wouldn't make up for his awful character. Overall, Grassy is annoyingly overrated, his voice is the worst, his character is just boring, he's not funny, and nothing about him stands out among his team in the challenges. These qualities equal bad character. Don't save Grassy! I'm just sick of having him in Teapot. If you like Grassy, you gotta go. I'm just kidding, you can like whatever character you want. Unless it's Grassy. Leafy, another plant, another overrated character. Now I'm just gonna briefly say, yes, she is overrated. But Leafy needs a longer in-depth video, so I will analyze her character in that future video instead. I I'm sorry if you wanted me to start roasting Leafy in this one, but it's just gonna have to wait. But a character that definitely doesn't need an in-depth video is TV. If I made a video just about TV, it would last one second and all I would say is TV is bland. I've had comments saying TV is like their favorite character. Really? TV? He's a filler character at best who just shows the votes. TV is really lame, IMO. TV sucks, IMO. He's overrated, IMO. You look great today, IMO. JK. JK means just kidding. Ice Cube is overrated, but she has potential unlike Grassy and TV. Whenever she's not just reused lines, she's a great character. Like whenever she stood up to book and switch teams. But in Teapot, she has been only reused lines. She's just boring now, and what's worse is Ice Cube was saved over Cloudy? Now yes, RIP Cloudy, very sad, Oh man, it's, it's all Ice Cube's fault. But Rocky also beat Cloudy in the votes, actually being third safe for doing nothing. Rocky is more overrated than Ice Cube. Bro vomits, they gets nasty. How are you gonna save a character whose personality is puking? And BFDI, I actually found it kind of funny that Rocky made it so far, but yo. I don't find it funny anymore, bro. Anyway, for Rocky, just get him out soon. As for Ice Cube, they just need to stop with the reused lines. And I'm alright with her staying. Make her interact with Book again, I don't know. Bring back her revenge joke and have her try and get revenge on someone. Alright, let's see how mad I can make you guys. Black Hole and Remote are both overrated. Let's start with Black Hole. Okay, 
I actually might have lied. I actually think he's properly rated. Who knew a character with a normal sounding voice would be so good? Not every character has to have the most obnoxious and annoying voice. Now then, why did I call him overrated? That's a good question. It's because of Teapot 1. In the episode, he barely said anything, and in the challenge, he was the reason the team lost. Why is bro just sitting there? He knows the challenge is to go up the building! But despite this, he was the first one safe. But other than that, he's great in every other episode. Remote, on the other hand, is a character I don't think is as great. Throughout BFB, she was pretty forgettable. There was that time where she was like hacked in BFB 7, which was kind of cool. But other than that, I don't recall much from her. In Teapot 1, I actually thought she was pretty good. I like the new motivated side of her character. I'm recharged and I have a new plan. Continuing with Teapot, I think she's all right. Not a terrible character by any means. I just don't think she's better than Tree or Lightning. Remote beat both of them in the votes after the first episode, and the votes for Teapot 5 show a possible tie between them. But for me, it shouldn't even be close. Lightning and Tree are just more likable than an AI voice. Not only is he not allowed on planes, but Bami is an overrated character. From the first few episodes of BFB, he didn't do anything. Yet when his team was up for elimination, he was the first safe. Then his team was up for elimination for a second time. Donut and Bami are both safe! Although he didn't do anything during the challenge, I wasn't actually mad that he was safe because he had a funny conflict with Black Hole. Anytime Bami isn't just screaming and instead actually saying lines is good. In BFB 14, Bami was also great. He clutched up by refilling Barf Bag and blowing up to help his team escape. This is Bami actually being a character, actually doing stuff. He was safe again for the third time, but after his clutch in BFP 14, it's kind of deserved. Bami being safe when he's actually doing something is fine. It's when he does absolutely nothing and still is safe. That's when there's a problem. That's where Teapot comes in. Bami hasn't done a single thing in Teapot, yet the votes for Teapot 5 show him being third safe over nickel and cake that's crazy either have him be a good character again or he just doesn't deserve to stay real talk though am i the only one who thought woody was a piece of bread at first woody is another character i would like to talk about woody has never been one of my favorite characters but he is all right oh damn it my boy anoceros ew besides that he also just screamed and mumbled Pretty annoying. And then comes BFB 8. Woody, I believe in you. I absolutely loved him in this episode. I liked how he was pushed to conquer his fear of balls. Anyway, he really gave opportunity to a potential storyline. It was wasted, obviously, but at least Woody had potential. See, after he acted brave in BFB 8, I thought he would have this whole character arc where he would conquer all of his fears. Not only would it be good character development, but also just funny to see him face all his ridiculous fears, <laughs> like the color gray. Although this was never fully expanded upon, Woody was pretty good in BFB 14. Yeah. Then in post split, he kind of just screamed and ran away from Blocky at the beginning. He was second safe, which I really don't think was deserved. Woody just continued to be Woody until episode 21. I enjoyed the character development in this episode and how Woody feels about himself. Continuing to the next episode, I really liked how they could understand Woody. It was really interesting to see his perspective. And then the friendship between him and Blocky begin. I quite liked it. I think it's one of the few genuine friendships left on the show. Woody doing pranks was a bit out of character, and I'm glad they realized this and made him grow out of it. I like the whole plot between Blocky and Woody with Woody not wanting to do pranks, and and I liked how it ended off on a good note. I also, I'm glad Woody got eliminated. He didn't really fit in without the team setting or Blocky. After analyzing Woody's character, I think it is fair to say he could be overrated at times, but he does have a couple good episodes and friendships that make him better. Alright, that's all the characters for this video. 
if I had to say who the most overrated character is, it would definitely be Grassy or TV. But you know who's not overrated? This YouTube channel. Subscribe.